as we now pre prepare to ordain by God and the church for ministry of a deacon, to which we believe you have been called by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord God, that in your great love you sent Jesus Christ to take the form of a servant, becoming obedient even to death on the cross, and now resurrected and exalted in the heavens. You have taught us that by his word and example, that whoever would be great among us must be servant of all. Give this servant grace to be faithful to her promises, consistent in her discipleship, and always ready for the works of loving service. Make Catherine modest and humble, gentle and strong, rooted and grounded in love. Give Catherine a share in ministry of Jesus Christ, who came not to be served, but to be served. Almighty God, pour upon Catherine Louise Lee the Holy Spirit of the office and work of a deacon in Christ's holy church. Amen. Catherine Louise Lee take authority as a deacon to proclaim the word of God and to lead God's people to serve the world in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, we will recognize our newest deacon in the Upper New York Annual Conference. An elder is called to share in the ministry of Christ and the whole church, to preach and teach the word of God, and faithfully administer the sacraments of holy baptism and holy communion, to lead the people of God in worship and prayer, 
to lead persons to faith in Jesus Christ, to exercise pastoral supervision, order the life of the congregation, counsel the trouble, and declare the forgiveness of sin to lead the people of God in obedience to Christ's mission in the world, to seek justice, peace, and freedom for all people, and to take a responsible place in the government of the church and in the service in and to the community. These are the duties of an elder. Do you believe that God has called you to the life and work of an elder. I do so believe. Will you, for the sake of the church's life and mission, covenant to participate in the order of elders? Will you give yourself to God through the order of elders in order to sustain and build each other up in prayer, study, worship, and service. I will, with the help of God and the help of my sisters and brothers in the order of the elders. All these persons are ordained by God and the church for the ministry of elders to which we believe that they have been called by the Holy Spirit let us pray for them. Spirit, heavenly dove, with all thy quickening powers, kindle a flame of sacred love in the cold hearts of ours. Look how we grovel here below, fond of these earthly toys. Our souls, how heavenly they go to reach eternal joys. In vain we tune our formal songs. In vain we strive to rise. Hose on us, languish on our tongues, and our devotion dies. Come, Holy Spirit, Heavenly dove, with all thy quickening powers, come shed abroad a Savior's love, and that shall kindle ours. We praise you eternal God, because you have called us to be a priestly people, offering to you acceptable worship through Jesus Christ, our Lord, apostle and high priest, shepherd and bishop of our souls. We thank you that by dying, Christ has overcome death and having ascended into heaven has poured forth gifts abundantly on your people, making some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists and some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, to build up Christ's body and to fulfill your gracious purpose in the world. Give to these your servants the grace and power 
they need to serve you in the ministry. Make them faithful pastors, patient teachers, and wise counselors. Enable them to serve without reproach, to proclaim the gospel of salvation, to administer the sacraments of the new covenant, and to offer with all your people spiritual sacrifices acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, pour upon Douglas Rob Childress the Holy Spirit for the office and work of an elder in Christ's holy church. Amen. Douglas Rob Childress take authority as an elder to preach the word of God, to administer the holy sacraments, and to order the life of the church in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, pour upon David, John, Cook, the Holy Spirit, for the office and work of an elder in Christ's holy church. Amen. David, John, Cook, take authority as an elder to preach the word of God to administer the holy sacraments and to order the life of the church. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, 